Yo guys, Superior David here. Uh, it's been a minute, but the mini set has finally released, which means, you know, we've got to get back to talking about some decks here. And we're going to be starting things off with my favorite day one deck, and that is Evolve Shaman. I hit top 100 with this list over here, which is Wire's list with basically one different card. Shout out to Wire. And, I, you know, I got to say that this deck actually feels quite legit to me. Shaman got some love in the Wailing Caverns expansion with the new Primal Dungeoneer. And in this deck, that allows us to, like, tutor up the Lightning Bloom, as well as the Cage Match Custodian, which in turn allows us to more consistently find that box by Knuckles so we could just start evolving our boards. And you know, I think people knew that like the Dungeoneer was gonna be good like going into the mini set and was really gonna help Shaman out. But I like personally, I think the sleeper card of this deck is really the uh, selfless sidekick. Being able to pull the weapon from your deck and just attack with it and, and then just suddenly get an eight drop, which you know are some of the most premium minions in Hearthstone at the moment is just frankly nuts. It's like so good that sometimes I will not play the cage match custodian to draw the box by Knuckle because I wanna like guarantee get it off the selfless sidekick, which I know may seem a little anti-synergistic, but I think it's more than worth it to just have that consistency, which you know feels like that has been like one of Shaman's many weaknesses as of late, just not being able to consistently do what it wants to do. And that's sort of, uh, all these cards just sort of remedy that. As for other new cards, we've got the new Meeting Stone, which is, you know, it's turned out to be a surprisingly good one drop. The adventures are basically like lackeys, but not broken. And they allow you to curve out in the early game or like set up for some like cheeky evolve boards. And then finally, we've got the Arc Druid Narelix, which is just a solid three drop minion. You're gonna be seeing this card all over the place. Place. The dream cards like allow you to scam games when your opponent like least expects it and especially in this deck when played on curve You know he wakes up turn five and that, that, that lines up very like perfectly with our box by knuckle for like a sweet evolve Now as for the mulligan there aren't really any stats on this deck available yet But generally I always keep that primal dungeoneer because it allows you to just tutor cards and thin out your deck Which is just really powerful especially for shaman And then I also keep the meeting stone and tour guide just so I can get something down on turn one and like start building up that board Then on the coin I think you could be a bit greedier and keep the Arc Druid Narelix and the Kazakas because you know they're solid mid game minions that can like potentially scam and give you some nice value. And then finally, you know, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I'm not sure if you should be keeping the Cage Match Custodian anymore. Like, I know that sounds weird, but we've got the Dungeoneer as well as the Selfless Sidekick now. So it feels like it isn't as much of a keep as it was in the past because you know we can more consistently either like draw into it or even just get our weapon in other means. But I think we'll just have to wait for the data to come out to just judge either way on that one. So just stay tuned for that. And with that, it's time for some good old superior gameplay. So uh, let me know down in the comments if you have any questions about this deck. And, you know, let me know what you guys think of the new Wailing Caverns mini set. You know, personally, I've actually enjoyed it, like, a lot more than I thought I would. And I hope the same is true for you guys. But anyways, uh, like the video so you can be superior. And also subscribe for more deck guides. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Really do appreciate it. Stay superior. And I'll see you in the next one later. We have a 1-2-3 play. I'm going to save the uh, hero power for when I uh, go for the clacker. And that's sort of the... Uh, that's, that, that, that's what's really good about the, the tour guide and the clacker. Just, like, this little synergy here. Ooh, Rush Warrior. So we're gonna like having this stuff. Carnival Clown. So now like if we go, if we get like a late Kazakus, it might be worth it to go for a 10 mana just to corrupt this. Yeah, yeah dude, I didn't think Meeting Stone would be good. I was just like, oh, whatever, Meeting Stone sucks. But it's actually a pretty good card. You get it on turn one with this deck and like it's just, your opponent just can't do anything about it. It's, it's sort of funny. Um, let's go for the trade here. Do this. We're gonna go. We're gonna clacker it up. Get some good minions, please. Eh, I mean, aggressively statted, so maybe that's good for us. But like this, honestly, we, this doesn't really do much for us. We draw our lightning blooms that already cost zero. This just puts a seven drop in our deck that we can't really do anything with. Um, hmm. Let's get the Narlix down. I think I saved this just because it makes my re it makes my coaster a bit better. I'll probably take the value trade here, go face. Actually, maybe I should have gone double face. Because if I get like Ysera Awakens off this, full clear, anyways. Yeah, Hopper, I feel like people were like last night were like all doom and gloom on Twitter about the uh, mini set. And I feel like today people are like, no, it's actually pretty decent. Precisely why I wanted to keep a minion in my hand for this coaster, just because I listen like this really bad. So I gotta go coaster on this guy here. Or do I? Because I do have the revolve. 
I think we want to save this revolve for when they start getting buffed minions. So we'll do boom, boom, boom. Just get this out of here. I actually really like a Yasser Awakens right now, just to reset the board. Oh, Nightmare. Nightmare can be good just because we have like a lot of rush minions. Or I could go, I could play like Nightmare on like a minion, then Revolve to get the debuff off. Did I beat the challenges yet on single player like Illidan? No, I mean, I beat Illidan because I, I unlocked the Demon Hunter class, but like, I don't really play the solo content anymore. I, I, I know like there's more like flavor and lore to it, but I really, it, it's not my cup of tea, honestly. Ugh. That's really good for him. Oh, second coaster. Probably go for this. You don't want the perks and satisfaction that, that I did it? Yeah, I don't want to get my one pack for having done it. What if I actually go for the nightmare on this and just trade here? I think we'd like to get the board back, so let's actually go for this. I kill this. Make him overdraw, hopefully something important. Get this down. You get a golden you don't get a golden legendary. Oh, we burned something totally freaking useless to him. Oh, but it's like legendaries that you already have. Hmm. Can we get our weapon, please? There's the weapon. I guess I go for it now, right? It's a little awkward because, like, I don't want to involve this laughing sister. I guess we go for it. Bash him in the face. <laughs> okay. Uh, then we we don't swing next turn. Turn nine, we play the Carnival Clown, and then we win the game easy. If we get like good ten drops, we just scam with the clown. But wow, it's crazy how like. We haven't we haven't gotten either we haven't gotten prim, primal dungeoneer or uh, cage match custodian that's sort of sad but fortunately we top deck the weapon I think the only other better draw now would have been like selfless sidekick just because we would have gotten the a drop with our weapon oh my goodness doom bills coming in with the eight months of twitch prime my man hunter deck tonight I don't know doom bills hunters is hunters sort of in a rough spot I don't, I don't know if I want to play some hunter but I really appreciate the eight months. All, one month till that sub, baby. Guys, can, can we get some Jewish mother hype for Doom Bills? Uh, let's see. You, you, you don't need the corrupt to corrupt the clown. Or if you really, if you do want to, you can go 10 mana Kazakas, but getting three 10 drops is usually pretty good. And not, usually enough to win games. Uh, let's see. Because they want to go Troublemaker. So I want to make a Troublemaker board awkward for them. So let's actually go for this. We have lightning bloom next turn. Um, let's actually get this down. Let's get minions down. I'm actually gonna I'm gonna trade like this. I'm going for this because I just realized I could go like I could go clown lightning bloom revolve. Maybe actually sh I should have just gone face there. I messed that up. I I don't know. I, it's actually hard to say with with uh, rush warrior because they have they actually have like a surprising amount of burst from ham between like etc and Alex and weapons. So maybe I think trading actually was the correct play. But I think we don't have to worry about anything next turn because we go clown. Um, they're probably going to play a rush minion that clears one of these minions off. So we're going to have space for the broom as well. So we get, we're going to get a bunch of 10 drops. We get the broom down. We rush them. And we take over the board. And then we take over this game. And we we, we make this warrior feel real bad about their decisions. You aren't even ready for this. Unless they have ETC here. then we'll be, Oh, God. Interesting. Interesting. Yo, Parakey, how you doing? Are you trying to set up for like an Alex lethal? So Alex will not be lethal. Here for a bad time. Yo, and it's off of the deep. Oh yeah, dude, yeah, you gotta step it up, man. So now we go for the Carnival Clown. And so help me God, we better get something good off this. I guess we had the Revolve. If like worst comes to worst, we go Revolve. Uh, bash him in the face. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, that, that's pretty good. I think that'll do it. 
I think I, I something tells me that that's that's gonna be enough to clear clear him, clear him up. Wow. Uh, do we gain anything by keeping this alive? I don't even know. I think I'm just gonna trade this off. I, I don't know if like Scorpid into Brawl. This that could be running Scorpid. So just in case, I'll keep the Death Wings alive. Wow. Wow. Yeah, these are some chonky minions. And this is, guys, see, this is why we don't need to corrupt the clown. Because 10 drops are good. So he's drawing. Oh, he doesn't have it. He doesn't have it. Nails don't have it. Boom! Oh, ho, ho. Okay, turn turn four. Eight drop. Let's go. That's my jam. That's my jam. Um, he... I'm assuming Control Warlock, but maybe he's playing Zoo? I'm fortunate that we drew this, but it's okay. Ooh, this is the first time I've ever gotten the Divine Shield Adventure. Your jam is Strawberry. Guys, at our, uh, at our first social gathering last weekend, someone brought Jelly Donuts. And I was just like, oh my god, jelly, no, no, someone, someone brought donuts, but they, they, but they didn't bring jelly donuts. I was like, what, how could you not bring jelly donuts? Jelly donuts are my jam. And everyone just sort of looks at me like, did you really just make that kind of joke right now? I could actually, I could coin out the Dungeoneer, then go Lightning Bloom, Lightning Bloom, Selfless Sidekick. I'm gonna go for that. I'm a, it's probably a Control Warlock, we gotta act fast. Wow, okay, well, Nazatha the Deep, you don't need to get scathing with it. Ooh, I like I like Boston cream donuts too. I I mean I, I used to have them when I lived in Boston. Oh man, we got Brooke coming in with the superior 69 viewer Ray. Thank you so much, Brooke. Hope you had a good stream. We got Spoink coming in with that Twitch Prime. Ayo, I know Pam. You came in just in time. We're talking about Boston cream donuts, and we we're also talking about how we're gonna get a a drop down turn four. Sorry, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. I just gotta. Scam my opponent real fast. Uh, <laughs> you know, I could even I could even pop them in the face. Oh no! Wait, this will die. This will die to hysteria. No. Ugh. Guys, can we get some Jewish mother hype for uh, Brooke? No! I played myself. I played myself. That was tragic. That was tragic. No, I like any other time. Those would have been like, like that would have been a like great board to have, but against Warlock, not a good time. Yeah, get some big ol' Fs there. Um, but we do have the clown, so maybe we could scam something. I know we can make it work. Oh my good goodness, Doom Builds, can I rate your new hunter, please? Um, yeah, Doom Builds, can you message it to me? Um, either in Discord or over uh, um, Twitch chat. I think I think in Twitch it might be a little too long. Let's, let's get this down. Scon cheers. Think about that follow. Very superior. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, gotta shake it up some more. So yeah, guys, for all you you uh, people from Brookstream who are not familiar with me, I'm the Superior David, and this is a Hearthstone stream. But of course, as you can see, we are also we also take our fitness very seriously here, and that's why you see me shake waiting right now. Ah. Uh. Thank you, Spoink, and thank you again for the Twitch Prime. Um, it, this is not my my particular take. This is uh, wires list, and I literally changed one card. You know, Pam, I, t I, I exactly. We don't mess around um, because the best way to get better at Hearthstone is to. It's, it's not just a mental game; it's a very physical game as well. So you need to be peak physical shape. Um, let's try to get like the something to corrupt this. That'd be nice. Exactly what I wanted. This could be annoying, but this is more value. Like, I'm going to get the second box spine. Do I really need this revolve? Maybe I, I take this just in case I get like a really bad roll on, a, on an evolve. I could just switch up my board. Nah, I'm going to go for the more value. I'm going to go for more value. Card draw is cool. But then we hold up the weapon swing. <laughs> Wait, oh no. Oh, phew, I thought we had too many cards in hand. I got so scared. <laughs> That that's the that's the crazy thing about this uh, deck. You actually have like a lot of cards in hand, and it's very easy to actually overdraw. Yes, chant it up for Brook, guys. Uh, now we get to scan with this Yasser Awakened. So if you're wondering why the Narrowlax is good, 
Look at this. Like, this is something that Shaman struggles to deal with. Gone. Don't even care. Don't even care. I think I'll do something like this. I could go for the evolve here. I really don't want to, though. Well, let's see, Doom Bells. I don't, uh, please, uh, I don't know if you messaged me the uh, deck yet, but I'll take a look at it, man. If you want me to. Landslide could do it, do it as well, though. <laughs> Landslide. Who, who runs cards that are actually in their class these days? It's all about generating cards that your opponent has no way of playing around. Which is why the Yosera Awakens is the superior option here, Parakey. Hmm. Are the new classes good? Are the new cards good, you mean, you meant to say? Because, I mean, or you mean like this new class Shaman? Because this new Shaman class is pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty good. Uh, let's see. I think I just want to dump stuff out on the board. Honestly, we might be in a bit of trouble here because if they have like Twisting Nether and we get bad ten drops, we might. I don't like. I don't know how we actually win this game then. Um, I'm not playing the Cage Match Custodian in case we top deck a Selfless Psychic again. Oh my God, Ron Jandals! I'm so sorry. Ugh, this unholy Murloc is scaring me here. Rank 123. Oh my, Doom Bills. I, I, I got the top 100 with this deck. It's like, it's pretty good. Um, sometimes you can get screwed over by your own evolves, but I really enjoy it. Not you. Interesting. Interesting. I don't even really care about this. They probably just want to like corrupt a Cascading Disasters or something. I think I want to trade this in to get the card draw. This card draw is sort of cool. Um, let's go for the clown. Something good, please. There we go. And this is pretty good, because now, like, they play Twisting Nether. This 7-7 seven is going to stick. And then we get to keep snowballing. Which is that, 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 that's the, what you really wish for with this deck, honestly. Do they not have the twisting? Oh, don't have that twist. Oh, they have the twisting. Of course they have the twisting. Um, let's see, we can go for this now. Do a little funky thing like this. Just keep the pressure coming. I want to keep a wide board too in case they have cascading disasters. This will summon something after it dies, so that's pretty good. Hey, Substance D. Been a, it has been a while. Substance D. If you want me to dab on a David, you've redeemed to dab on those inferior Davids. So if you give me a David, I will dab on any David you want. But, uh... I, I feel like Hearthstone... Honestly, Hearthstone, the power level's been a little too high, it seems like, lately. But other than that, you know, like, you guys have been great. Oh, we are gonna scam it up here. Wait, hold up. Hold up. Hold that thought, Substance D. Um, this will give us more damage. Oh, <laughs> oh, that was so filthy. Oh, there we go. Get out of here, Unholy Murloc. Oh my goodness. Boom. Get that